Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Half-Life walkthrough for the PC, played on the Difficult Difficulty. This is the original 1998 release. I'm Big Mac Davis, and this is Chapter 4, Office Complex. Alright, let's press the button and ride the elevator up. Well now. Now these head crabs over here will die to the electricity, so we'll let them come closer and die. But let that be a warning to you. That means you can't go down this hallway either, because the electricity in the ceiling will kill you instantly. We'll have to turn off the power. Grab the armor battery and health pack if you need it. Now these doors are locked. And... Oh my goodness. How horrid. Anyway, approach the electricity carefully. Yeah. And then use the crowbar to bash open the vent grating and carefully go through. We'll take the left path first, and turn on our flashlight so we can see better. Let the headcrabs inside here commit suicide in the fan blades, but do not enter the room with the fan. It will kill you instantly. So we'll come back later. So for right now, we'll go back the way we came and take the other path in the vent shaft. Now this is the barnacle that ate that scientist from earlier, so we'll kill him. Now be careful in this room because there are more ceiling panels that will break apart when you walk under them, revealing more barnacles. So we'll just kill them all. And this is the last barnacle. Which, that's disgusting. In. Everyone's heading for the surface, but I think they're crazy not to stay put. Someone is bound to come by and rescue us. Someone is bound to come by and rescue us. I sure hope so. Enter this side room and then turn off the power. That will turn off the electricity in the hallway, but not the soda machines, which you still can use, by the way, to get free soda and free health. You can go through the doors on this side and enter the hallway again. But before we go down the hallway, there's one thing to take care of in the vent shaft, and we'll turn left when we enter it. The fan blades are now turned off since we turned off the power, so we can grab the ammo clips, the two ammo clips, from the dead security guard's body. And now we'll go back the way we came. And go on down the hallway past the electricity. Now this door is locked, so we'll have to bash through the window and climb through. We'll ignore all these doors for right now, just turn left and into storage. Now this storage door is locked, but there's a zombie behind it. Wait for the zombie to completely destroy the door before you attack it. If you don't, well then you don't get access to the storage room. Five shots to the head takes care of the zombie rather nicely. And in the storage room you'll find two ammo clips, so grab those if you need them. We'll turn left into some more storage rooms. These have crates in the hallway, so we'll bash through them because they're blocking the way. Now behind this bigger crate is a head crab, so carefully peek out and then snipe them off, just like that. Now 
Now in this next section, run for the security guard. You want to save his life. Fire one shot at the zombie to distract the zombie to get him to try to attack you. And, the, and then the guard will kill him for you. If you don't save the guard... <laughs> I got another one. If you don't save him, you don't get access to this room. Ooh, something died down here. <laughs> you can grab a shotgun from this green crate. Yes, indeed, a new weapon. It's very nice to have. You can head down below to get some supplies from the crates down here. So just grab everything you need. And then we'll head back up and go into the security guard's cage. We'll grab some more shotgun shells from here. Okay, I'll cover you. Now in this next area behind the cage, I run in it backwards and look up. That'll look nice in my trophy room. <laughs> Some more shotgun shells are in this room with some more ammo clips. And I must say, I like the design outside there. You can't access that area, but it's kind of cool. Anyway, we'll exit this cage and go back through storage again. Now these double doors right here are locked for right now. Dr. Newell's Scheduled Chaos Theory. Hello, Gabe. If you can, let the security guards see the, uh, head crab. Whoa, that was close. Now this water in here is electrified. Do not step in it. To navigate this successfully, what you want to try to do is use the Use button to pull the table towards you then get on it, and then jump to this area. Do not touch the sink water. It's also electrified. Just jump over it. Jump to the health station, and then jump over here towards the light switch, and then use it. That will turn off the power, and you can step in the water freely. Now go to the corner over here. Most people don't know about this. You can open up the cupboard there, and grab an armor battery. All right, so now we'll head towards this vent grating, but we're not gonna bash it yet. We're gonna wait for three head crabs to jump our way and then snipe them off from inside the vent, which I find is much easier and much safer. And then we'll just bash the grating and jump through. Now be careful, you want to remain crouched as you walk under the fan. You'll die. You can watch an innumerable number of head crabs die to this fan. That's right, there's no set number of them. So you can stay here all day if you want to, or you can just continue on. Now through here, the ceiling will collapse, and you can open up the double doors now to let your security guard friend follow you. Be careful here, a couple of head crabs will fall down. Bring it on! <laughs> That's right, Barney. Alright, anyway. This next door is locked. How original. And you can't access this ladder, it's too high up. So what do? We'll push this smaller crate underneath the ladder so we can reach it. So we'll jump on the small crate and jump to the ladder. Now if you want, if you're clever enough, you can snipe off a head crab down there. Just like that. That's for clever people. We'll bash the vent grating in the floor here. And see, there's the dead head crab that we killed. Now be careful through here. Just inch your way forward until you see a scientist. Oh my goodness! What is that thing? 
Well, that is a ceiling turret. We can't see it right now. I'm waiting for it to power down. But it's a very powerful turret gun, and it can kill you rather quickly. There, it's powering down. I run out and hide in this corridor. Then, I crouch behind this crate and push it towards where the turret is. So that I can get underneath the balcony where it's located. Now this switch will turn it off, but that's too easy. I want to destroy it. You can double barrel shotgun it when it appears. Four shotgun shells takes care of it, see? Or if you want, you can just press the button or press the switch and it will turn off the turret. So yeah, either or works fine. So we'll bash these crates. There's not much in them. Apart from maybe an ammo clip. It's right here. The turret gun blew up the crate for us. Now to get to that first aid station, what you have to do is walk about right here and pull the smaller crate down. Come on. Huh. It's not letting me do it this time around. Well, whatever. There's another way up there, and I'll show that off later. Well, for right now, go through this um, little opening right here, turn right, and you can get more shotgun ammo. So we'll head over here, grab some pistol bullets from the shelves, and then open up the locked door to allow your friend to enter again. Your security guard friend. Now this small crate is what you need to access that first aid station. So we'll push it in there. Now something about those auto turrets that some people get confused about. They were actually installed by Black Mesa to protect itself from intruders. Like outside people not invited into the facility. So, yeah, they were installed by Black Mesa employees, so... Unfortunately, when the Resonance Cascade happened, the scientists turned on Code Red, which enacted those turrets to start up. Unfortunately, they didn't know that it would also kill them also, so... And there's the first aid station. But yeah, that's the story behind those auto turrets. Anyway, we're done with this area. Where did our guard pal go? He's still in there. I'll stay here and guard. Okay, we might live longer if we work together. It can be troubling sometimes to get him to follow you. You go on, okay? Why not? Didn't want to die alone anyway. Well, come on then. Sometimes you have to wander down this corridor to get him to follow you. He he gets stuck sometimes. There we go. So now with everything collected, everything explained, we can move on now. There's a few head crabs, and if you want, you can get your security guard to kill them for you. That's one less horror in the world. There we go. Worked out fine. Man. I wasn't expecting that one, but oh well. Let's move on down the down the uh, head crab infested area. Now up here, there's another security guard. Huh, that'll look nice in my trophy room. Which means now we have access to two security guards, and they'll help us out. Somewhat. Yeah, let's go. So now with two guards at our side, we can move on. Grab some ammo from that crate, if you need it. Now be careful as you enter this area. There's a head crab that will fall down, just let your guards kill it. Got one. Now this next area... There's a scientist there, and he'll turn off the lights to hide from the Vortigaunts in this area. 
This is a highly dangerous area, and it's mainly for a one-man job. I don't really need these security guards, because they'll die anyway. So I'll lure them over here, and just leave them here. Believe me, they will die. I mean, this is easier if I do it alone. And you'll see how I do it. Enter this side room on the left. Wow, that was kind of weird. You can grab an armor battery and health pack from over here. By the way, that vent opening. When you approach it, it'll just seal off so you can't get in there. Now the Vortigaon area. At the intersection up ahead, I alert them, then run back into this office area and hide behind the door. That is their attack. They shoot out lightning towards you. I crouch here so that they'll be forced to enter inside the office area, and I can just kill them easily. That's the easiest way I know of to kill these guys. You are one ugly creature. There's usually three to four Vortigaunts that will come your way. That was three of them. Alright, so everything's clear. Turn left at the intersection and be careful because a head crab will drop through the ceiling. And the left side is all cleared out now. Now we'll do the forward side. In this lounge type area. Another head crab will fall down the ceiling, so be careful of that in the green lounge area. We'll come back to this area later on, we'll just turn right, and there's a Vortigaunt. Just bull rush him and kill him with the double barrel shotgun. Be careful of that, let the Vortigaunt blast through the glass, and then kill him that way. And there's an ammo clip from where he came from. So we'll continue forward now. Now through here, yeah. There's that fourth Vortigaunt that sometimes comes in that office area. Well, I couldn't strafe around that corner. You gotta be kinda careful there. So yeah, all Vortigaunts are now dead in the immediate area. Now we'll enter this office area. But be careful. Wow, you have to wander in all the way. That's what you can kinda do. Circle strafe the head crab so they can't leap at you. Now this office area has nothing in it. Oh, except for a first aid station. So use that if you need to. Now we'll enter this dark, um, corridor and kill off the barnacle quickly. You have to react quickly, otherwise he'll bite you. Um, are you gonna talk to me? You have something to say. Oh well, you can grab the health pack from the table. I'm not so sure I want to go to the surface. What if the world finds out what we were doing down here? What if the world finds out? Well, the world finds out. There's not much else we can do about it. You can turn on the lights if you want. There's nothing else to do in this room, so let's just exit back out. And now we'll go back to that lounge area. Notice anything out of place? Maintenance access. What's that doing in the lounge area? We'll jump on the couch, and oh my goodness, a secret entrance. Most people don't know about this. And there's a turret there. I just toss a grenade. <laughs> it takes care of it rather nicely, I must say. Grab the ammo, and then you can use this to turn off the turret if you don't want to kill it. So yeah. So yeah, kind of interesting secret slash easter egg. You can use a, gr a grenade on this Vortigaunt there. He's hiding behind the soda machine. And that kind of blew out all the sodas, didn't it? Anyway, these Vortigaunts aren't that tough to deal with. Just strafe around their electricity that they fire at you, and it's not that difficult if you know how to strafe well. If you don't know how to strafe, I would recommend learning the skill. And yeah, the soda machine's completely destroyed, but that's okay. Restricted. 
Sector D Admin 2, Sector D Admin 1. So we're entering the administrator's offices. How fancy. And that scientist died, apparently, to those Vortigaunts. Well, the scientist basically says, um, that soldiers have arrived to rescue us. Well now, soldiers are coming to rescue us, all right. So we'll go up the stairs, now be careful. At the very top of these stairs are some head crabs, but a grenade takes care of them all. Oh, I guess they're on these stairs. I feel retarded now. Here I am, claiming to know everything about Half-Life. That's okay. There's a, um, that turret. We already killed it, remember, in that lounge area. Yeah. Otherwise, you have to kill that turret from here. Explosives. I know what to do. Four shots. It doesn't kill him on the difficult setting, so, but it does wound him, so. Yeah. Fancy that. Whatever. Be careful around the next corner. If you know about this ambush, it's not that difficult. If you don't know, you can walk right into two electrical surges right to the face. <laughs> and that's never a good thing. Ah, we have a security guard, but we're not going to talk to him. Well, we're going to listen to what he has to say, though. Hey, what the hell are you doing down here? Get topside. I hear troops are coming in to save us. Troops are coming in to save us. All right, that'll be nice. Anyway, we'll move on down here. Now, notice this door is locked. But there's some supplies behind there that we can't get yet. So how do we get into that room? Well, I'll show you. There's a vent grating to the left of the door you use to get to this room. So we'll break it open and crawl through. Now we have to venture down a long series of these vent shafts. Go up the ladder here. And onto this, um, turbine. Now this fan can hurt you if you touch it. Just find the missing fan blade and jump through. Or run through. See, there's the fan there. Jump over this, um, equipment there. And then snipe off two head crabs before you bash through the grate. I find that the easiest way. Through the next vent grating. Follow along the outer wall here until you get to another vent grating. And another one. Now you have to navigate across these brown pipes very carefully. If you fall off, you have to do this all over again. Be careful of that wall exploding. A head crab will jump out immediately. So snipe him off from up here. Now since I don't have any more grenades, you could grenade this opening there, but I ran out since I used two of them on those head crabs that I thought were on the top of the stairs, but they weren't. They were further up. So we'll have to snipe off the head crabs manually without the grenade, but if you do have a spare grenade, use that in that opening. It's easiest. And that should be all of them, three head crabs. And we're almost out of flashlight juice, so we'll let that recharge a little bit. There we go. So we'll snipe off this head crab as well. All this to gain access to a secret room. Oh well, it is worth it. You'll fall through the ceiling here, and you emerge in the secret room that I told you about. Shotgun ammo, pistol ammo, and finally we get some grenades again. Alright, we're stocked up, and there's a health machine there. So now we'll go back out the door, and we're back in this area again. Now we'll turn right from the door we used to get to this room and go down the ramp. Now there's a bull squid down here, but there's a very easy way to take him out. Stand as far away from these crates as you can and destroy the middle one with the pistol. Then, standing as far away as you can, 
you can snipe off the bull squid, and yeah, it is hilarious. He will jump up in pain. Poor bull squid, you know, I find that hilarious, but that's an easy way to take him out. So, you can bash these crates, but there's nothing in them. Now we'll go down where the bull squid was and gather the supplies. There's even more, um, uh, grenades there. Now when you go back up and cross the, the uh, yellow line, yeah, we have two teleporting vortigons. Just strafe when you have to and kill them. It's not that difficult because they do give you cover there. Alright, so we're done here. Let's go back up the ramp. You have a bad feeling about this? I do too. We'll progress further without the guard at the moment because we want to get the ambush on this zombie eating that corpse. The grenade won't kill the zombie on the on the difficult setting, but it will wound him enough to where you can get your guard to follow you now, and also when you grenade in the room, a bunch of head crabs will fall from the ceiling. Just let your guard take care of them for you. And help out if you need to. See, the zombie was very wounded. But on difficult, a single grenade will not take care of a zombie. They're just that powerful. Whoa, that was close. That was close, but you took care of everybody for me, Barney. Thank you very much for that. This is a boarded up doorway that you can break apart with the um, crowbar. Just make sure you destroy all the boards on the ground so that your guard pal will follow you through. Come on, Barney. There he comes. Alright, this next part's kind of stupid for the security guard. I leave him here. Otherwise, he'll run right in front of these zombies and get totally decimated. It's kind of stupid. So I just handle them myself. Two shots with the shotgun takes care of them. Very nicely. Then I get my guard pal to refollow me. There's a health machine there if you need it. Now press this lever and it will open up the um, freezer area. So get your guard to follow you through. Now this ladder will come back later, but for right now we'll skip it, and we'll enter in here, turn right, then turn right again. Man, see that, shot? that was an awesome shot, Barney. Awesome job. <laughs> yeah, there's meat we can break through. Careful of that head crab there. Another one. There's a head crab on the shelf here to the left, so. Where are you going, Bart? Oh, you missed him. I guess I'll take care. Nope, I guess he will. I guess we both got confused on who we were fighting. He managed to kill that head crab way down there. This meat's disgusting. This is hanging there in the freezer. Oh well, you gotta feed Black Mesa somehow. Again, you can snipe off another bull squid behind that center crate. Just don't go past the yellow line below me. Because if you do, the bull squid will see you and um, fire at you. There we go. Bull squid is now dead. Another head crab. Man, did you see that shot? That was an awesome shot, Barney. Great job. Press this switch, this red switch, and it will get this platform above us to start moving. We'll get to that later on. For right now, we'll head over here and turn right. Run, scientist! Run from the bull squid! Let's kill him. Oh, poor Barney. Yeah, bull squids are nasty enemies. They can hurt a lot, and they kill Barney very, very quickly. Well, that wasn't Barney, but you know what I mean. Security guard. And we have a...
bones every all around here. That's quite disgusting. Anyway, we're done with this area. Now, how do we get to that armor battery behind that grate? Well, I'll show you. For right now, we have to go back towards the start of this freezer area and go up that ladder we skipped. Quiet, scientist. Just be quiet. I'm not hurting you. Go through the vent grating and then out the other end. Keep following along this, these areas until you get to, um, over here. Right here. Now wait for that, um, this, um, platform to come across your way and then jump on it. And then smash the crates for some armor batteries. Now we have to wait for that platform to come back around so we can jump to the other side into another vent opening. You gotta time your run kind of accurately here. There we go. Be careful. Yeah, a jumping head crab. Just peek over the top and you can snipe him off. Very clever. We'll turn right, and we'll grab that armor battery that we saw earlier. So, yay. So now we'll continue on. We have some skulls in here, and some bones. And we have four barnacles in this room as well, so we're gonna kill them. Kill them all. Because sometimes under the barnacles are some supplies. Like this one. It's got an armor battery. You have to be quick when you kill the barnacles though. Look up immediately because they'll bite you rather quickly. Like that one. Now there's one more barnacle. You have to jump up here to kill him. Again, be rather quick about it. Now this ladder serves no purpose. It doesn't lead anywhere. It doesn't do anything special. So we'll jump up the curves in this ventilation shaft and we'll emerge into this hole. The right path will take you to nothing special, so we'll take the left path. <clears throat> and we'll snipe off a head crab down there. If you know where he is, he's easy to take down. And we're almost out of flashlight juice, but we're almost out of this darkened area. Poor security guard, but the live security guard will take care of the zombie. Hey, don't count on the cavalry finding us down here. Head for the surface. Elevators are out of order, but we can still climb. We have to head to the surface for the cavalry to rescue us, and there are the stairs. But before we go up them, we'll go through the door that the scientist opened up, which will take us back here, so we can go back into that secret room and get some more items if we need them. But I don't need them, so we'll just continue back the way we came, through the previously locked door. And get the guard to follow us. That. Let's run like hell. Let's run like hell. We can destroy these crates here, but there's nothing in them. I just like destroying them for the sake of entertainment. Because I like the crowbar. Now up here, that's tough to avoid. But, um, yeah, you can avoid that if you're careful. Run towards this locked door. Well now, it's the G-Man. He is mysterious. I wonder what he's up to. Oh well, I guess we'll find out later. Anyway, we'll just continue on. Whoa, scientist! Whoa, zombie! Whoa, another zombie! Let's have a battle.
That was a close call. <laughs> anyway, both zombies are now dead. Now this area that says Dr. Van Buren. Doesn't that remind you of, like, um, Martin Van Buren, the president? I think it's a name of a Valve employee, though, and you can get some items from here. I think Van Buren is a uh, Valve employee. Enter through where the zombie came from, and you can get some um, grenades from inside here, but nothing much else. And you can't access that area where that zombie came from. Now this area is uh, pretty tough, and you can die if you don't make that jump towards that ladder. You can bunk your head on the top and fall down to your death. You have to jump perfectly. Get out of my way, security guard. Jump! Oh, I made it in the first try. That's awesome. Sometimes it can... Uh-oh, scientist! Hold on! I'm a-coming! You have to climb up the series of ladders very carefully, otherwise you'll fall off and die. Well, poor scientist. No matter what you do, he'll die, no matter what, so... Carefully navigate your way to the top here. And now you have to jump to this ladder. It can be a rather stressful jump as well. Because one bad mistake and you fall off, and you die. Break open the vent here in the top of the elevator. And then press the button to go to the next chapter, but that will be for the next video. I'm Big Mac Davis, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.